Living your 2018 as if it were your last year because every moment of your life is precious. Now, we have been doing this now for 29 videos, okay? So right about now, you're getting into the groove of putting more intensity, putting more awareness, living more in the here and now, right? Right. So today I wanted to ask you something. Is it possible to be too nice? Yeah. Well, I don't believe it's possible to be too nice if our niceness is born from a sense of inner security. So let me explain that better. A lot of times I work with people who come to me and they say, I'm such a nice person. I've always been such a nice person. I'm nice to everybody. I do everything for everybody and everybody just kind of treats me badly and they never say thank you and then they never return my favors and things like that. Now, if our niceness is due to our low self-esteem, we are in trouble. Okay, so if you have a high self-esteem and if you have an inner security and what you do is not to gain favors or because you're afraid that someone will not like you or you're afraid of someone's reaction later or you're afraid that when you need something later on, someone will not do also for you, then that's when our niceness can go out of control. Now, if we are people who are very secure of ourselves and we're not trying to prove anything to anyone else and we're not trying to gain favors or friends or make people think highly of us, then what we do is always usually in equilibrium. And our niceness never goes over those limits where maybe we're doing too much and we're giving too much and we're being just too willing to help everyone and everyone. Now I want to tell you a story which happened to me last night. I was coaching a woman. She has a business, a family business that's been in her family for about 60 years. She's the only one in her family now who's running it. And there are about 12 people that work in this business. Now she comes into the business with cupcakes for everyone and coffee for everyone and she overpays everyone and she thinks if I give them the highest salary that I can possibly give them then they'll stay with me which doesn't work and she's always willing to give them time off and she's always understanding but on the other hand when she needs her workers to maybe work overtime or go the extra mile or do something a little bit more specific which will help her they are never behind her and we had our coaching session last night where she was very angry about this. And I was trying to make her see that her niceness, that her indulging everyone was due to her severe lack of self-esteem and the way she was going about it diminished her authority and her sense of leadership in front of her workers. The same woman had one of her workers ask her to lend her money to start up another business she said yes, gave this woman $25,000 to start up another business and did not get a letter, a receipt, did not sign a contract, did not do anything. Now that business failed after a year, but that woman had found some other backer to come in and pay her half price on what she had invested. Now she took this $12,500 and told my client, well, at least I got someone to give me half on my money, so at least it wasn't a total failure. And my client looked at her like, yes, but that 25 was my money, so this 12, five is my money too. Well, the woman counted her money and went on about her way, and she never bothered to even discuss, well, maybe I should give you back maybe even a half of this half to you. And my client obviously was extremely upset. Now, all of this happened before I started working with her, but just to explain to you some incredible things that can happen when we are trying to be too nice because of low self-esteem. So I always have this rule. I always say, if there is something that I would expect someone to say thank you for after I've done it, then I'm not going to do it. And I'll tell you why. Because if we are doing something which is in equilibrium with what we really want to do, and it's exactly how much we really want to do, and maybe I'm doing it because I'm getting the pleasure out of doing it. If you tell me thank you or not, 
that's not my problem. I'm happy to do it. And so I'm going to do it. When it gets to the point where we feel that someone should have told us thank you, that's when we know we're doing it for the wrong reasons or we've gone over our limit. So think about what you're doing right now if you're doing something for someone else. If you think that that person or those people should tell you thank you, then maybe you should really think why you're doing it. Do things from the goodness of your heart and that's when we can never be too nice. No, we can never be too nice because we're enjoying our niceness and we're living in it. We're helping. If I can help you, I want to help you, but not because I want you to tell me thank you, but because it gives me joy to be able to help you. And if you go on about your business and you never tell me thank you, I might not even notice it because I've been so happy to help and I'm content with myself. So is it possible to be too nice? No. When you have high self-esteem, when you are assured of yourself, when you're doing what you want to do for the right reasons, and you're enjoying your actions of what you have done, and it really comes from the bottom of your heart. So live life, love your life, love yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow. And remember to be nice to you. Bye.